हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ टुडेज जी के लेट्स बिगिन विद प्रीवियस डेज प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन वाज कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स रिगार्डिंग द एनुअल सोलर एक्लिप्स इवेंट वन इट इज ऑफन रेफर्ड टू एज द रिंग ऑफ फायर टू दिस एक्लिप्स हैपेंस व्हेन द मून इज एट और नियर इट्स क्लोजेस्ट पॉइंट फ्रॉम अर्थ इन इट्स ऑर्बिट विच ऑफ द अब गिवन स्टेटमेंट्स इज और आर करेक्ट वन ओनली टू ओनली बोथ वन एंड टू और नीदर वन नॉर टू द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए वन ओनली द एनुलर सोलर एक्लिप्स विल अकर ऑन अक्टूबर फोर्टीन एंड विल बी विजिबल अक्रॉस डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इट इज ऑफन रेफर्ड टू एज द रिंग ऑफ फायर हैंस स्टेटमेंट वन इज करेक्ट द मून अपीयर स्मॉलर दैन द सन इन द स्काई एंड डज नॉट फुली कवर इट क्रिएटिंग अ स्ट्राइकिंग विजुअल इफेक्ट दिस एक्लिप्स हैपन्स वेन द मून इज एट और नियर इट्स farthest point from earth in its orbit hence statement 2 is not correct the moon appears as a dark disk superimposed on the larger bright face of the sun forming a glowing ring or ring of fire therefore option a is the correct answer now let's begin today's session first question is consider the following statements regarding the polyethylene terephthalate or pet one it is colorless Two, it does not hold good electrical insulating properties. Three, it is recyclable. How many of the statements given above is or are correct? Only one, only two, all three, or none? The correct answer is option B. Only two. Recently, the researchers have recently discovered a new deep sea enzyme that can degrade polyethylene terephthalate or PET. It is produced by the polymerization of ethylene glycol and terephthalic acid it is highly flexible colorless and semi crystalline resin in its natural state hence statement 1 is correct it shows good dimensional stability resistance to impact moisture alcohols and solvents it exhibits excellent electrical insulating properties hence statement 2 is not correct it can be commercially recycled by thorough washing and remelting or by chemically breaking it down to its component materials to make new pet resin hence statement 3 is correct therefore option b is the correct answer next question is recently seen in the news the mukurthi national park is located in which of the following tamil nadu karnataka kerala or andhra pradesh the correct answer is option a tamil nadu recently the tamil nadu forest department conducted combing operations in the mukurthi national park and forest areas adjoining it to ensure that there is no illegal movement of people and poachers it is located in the western corner of the nilgiris plateau in the northwest corner of tamil nadu the park was created to protect its keystone species the nilgiri tehar it is designated as the unesco world heritage site and the park is characterized by montane grasslands and shrublands interspersed with sholas in a high altitude area of high rainfall therefore option a is the correct answer next question is recently seen in the news the asteroid psyche orbits the sun between mars and earth mars and jupiter jupiter and saturn or earth and venus the correct answer is option b mars and jupiter nasa psyche spacecraft is set to embark on a ground breaking mission to explore a metal rich asteroid named psyche The journey to the asteroid also named Psyche will span nearly 6 years and cover approximately 3.6 billion kilometers. The asteroid orbits the sun between Mars and Jupiter. It is believed to be a remnant core of planet similar composed primarily of iron nickel metal. Studying it from orbit could provide invaluable insights into the composition of Earth's core. Therefore option B is the correct answer. Next question is sometimes seen in the news the Vivaad Se Vishwas one scheme was launched by which of the following ministries Ministry of Communication Ministry of Information and Broadcasting Ministry of Micro Small and Medium Enterprises or Ministry of Finance the correct answer is option D Ministry of Finance recently in a major relief to the micro small and medium enterprises various ministries and departments of government of india have accepted more than 10000 claims of msmes under vivaad se vishwas one scheme aimed at providing relief to msmes for the covid-19 pandemic period it was announced by the union finance minister in the budget speech 2023-24 The scheme was launched by Ministry of Finance through Government e-marketplace portal on 17 April 
the relief provided under this scheme were in continuation to the efforts of the government in promoting and sustaining the msme sector severely impacted by the covid-19 pandemic therefore option d is the correct answer next question is recently the scientists have discovered the fossil of a large trap door spider named megamonodontium macleuski from australia new zealand philippines or japan the correct answer is option a australia recently the scientists have discovered the fossil of a large trap door spider in australia this is the fourth giant spider fossil to be found in australia this is the world's first fossil that belongs to the large brush footed trap door spider family bariculidae this new species used to live in the miocene 11 to 16 million years ago and is officially named megamenodontium mcclosky the spider was named after dr simon mcclosky who found the specimen therefore option a is the correct answer next question is consider the following statements regarding the angel tax in indian context one it is levied on excess funds raised at prices above fair value two it is not applicable on non resident investors which of the statements given above is or are correct one only two only both one and two or neither one nor two the correct answer is option a one only recently the government has eased some of the provisions of the angel tax introduced in this year's budget angel tax is tax levied on the capital raised via the issue of shares by unlisted companies if the share price of issued shares is seen in excess of the fair market value of the company the excess funds raised at prices above fair value is treated as income on which tax is levied hence statement 1 is correct it derives its genesis from section 56 2 7b of the income tax act 1961 it is also applicable on non resident investors hence statement 2 is not correct therefore option a is the correct answer next question is in which of the following regions of india are you most likely to come across the balsams in its natural habitat uttar pradesh ut of ladakh rajasthan or kerala the correct answer is option d kerala recently the balsams genus Impetians were seen in full bloom in Munnar, Kerala. They are called Kasi Tumbha and Ona Povu locally. Their small pink flowers are a major attraction along the Devi Kullam stretch of the Kochi Dhanushkodi National Highway. Balsams are also known as touch me not because of the bursting of mature seeds and seed distribution. In India, 220 species of the balsams are found out of which 135 are found in the southern western ghats the normal life cycle of balsams is from june to december the plant mainly grows inside pockets of forest areas therefore option d is the correct answer next question is consider the following statements regarding the brent crude one it has high sulfur content two it has low density three it is extracted from different oil fields in the north sea how many of the statements given above is or are correct only one only two all three or none the correct answer is option b only two recently the brent crude jumped to a 10 month high and breached 93 dollars per barrel it serves as the most widely used benchmark that defines oil prices around the world the term brent refers to the brent oil field which was discovered in the 1970s and became a significant source of oil production Its unique properties like the low sulfur content makes it simpler to process into products such as gasoline hence statement 1 is not correct it is a light and low density sweet crude oil hence statement 2 is correct it is extracted from different oil fields in the north sea hence statement 3 is correct therefore option b is the correct answer next question is consider the following statements regarding the scrub typhus disease one it is a disease caused by the bacteria to it is spread through bites of infected chiggers or larval mites which of the statements given above is or are correct one only two only both one and two or neither one nor two the correct answer is option c both one and two recently the record breaking rainfall in himachal pradesh this year caused due to climate change has resulted in the spike in scrub typhus cases across the state scrub typhus also known as bush typhus is a disease caused by a bacteria called Orientia tsutsugamushi hence statement 1 is correct most cases of scrub typhus occur in rural areas of southeast asia indonesia china japan 
India and northern Australia. It is spread to people through bites of infected chiggers or larval mites. Hence, statement 2 is correct. The symptoms of scrub typhus include headache, fever along with joint pain, body ache, shivering and red rashes on the body and lethargy. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Last question is which of the following statements about galactic tides is true? They refer to the rise and fall of sea levels in the Milky Way. They can cause the disruption of smaller galaxies when they come close to larger galaxies. They are formed primarily due to the gravitational influence of black holes or they have no significant effect on the structure of galaxies. The correct answer is option B. They can cause the disruption of smaller galaxies when they come close to larger galaxies. Recently, the researchers have observed that just as the Earth's oceans at their shores, the universe galaxies also experience tides but on a much larger scale. It is a tidal force experienced by objects subject to the gravitational field of a galaxy such as the Milky Way. The term has nothing to do with sea levels or water, it's purely an astronomical term. When a smaller galaxy gets too close to a larger one, the differential gravitational force or tidal force exerted by the massive galaxy can pull stars, gas and other matter out of the smaller galaxy, sometimes disrupting it entirely. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Now, it's time for the practice question. Consider the following statements regarding the payments bank. One, it was set up on the recommendations of the Dharia committee. Two, it cannot issue loans and credit cards. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two or neither one nor two. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.